Hi, it's Gadget UK here again. As you can see from the bags under my eyes, I am absolutely knackered. Um, I've just got back from the Play 2015 Expo. Uh, I'll show you a couple of the games uh, I've just bought. Um, down here. So, here's my Sonic. Um, I've got Sonic 2 for the Mega Drive. Uh, I wanted a, you know, the original game uh, to go with it. I've still got my Play <laughs> wristband on here. Uh, play Expo, six pounds, not bad. Um, the manual was a little bit wrinkled there. Um, Cart's in pretty good condition. Uh, all things considered, considered really the labels nice and tidy. So I'll clean this up. Um, it does need a clean up because um, I met Monkey Spaz, uh, James, uh, and various other people there. But while I was talking to James um, and Novabug, um, I spilled my drink <laughs> down my carts into my bag. Uh, as I was explaining to James, I don't tolerate alcohol very, very well. I very infrequently have alcohol and had a lager shandy. And before you know it, it was poured. <laughs> I was pouring it into my uh, bag <laughs> with all my games in there. So it's all right, as you can see, uh, it's not damaged or anything. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's pretty good for six quid. Anyway, so I'll clean that up in a minute. Um, also got uh, this um, Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the um, Super Nintendo. It's PAL version. I've got a Super Famicom, if you've seen previously. But I do have the adapter there, so and I've got a Japanese car. So I think that should probably work. We'll give it a try anyway. Um, and I also got a game for my N64 here, I wanted a car, I've not got anything other than my Everdrive to test with at the moment. Um, it's a good game, Hexen, you know, I was a fan of sort of Doom and Hexen at the time on the PC. Never played the, uh, 60, the N64 version, so I'll be interested to see how that plays out. It's a little bit yellowed, and you can see here, I'll try and clean it with a bit of plastic cleaner, but it might need a bit of H2O2. I suspect it's dirt, because it's in little patches rather than all over the whole. Thing, but yeah, nine pound probably could have got that a little bit cheaper, but it's a pretty good game. But that was all I picked up. Um, I was only there for about three and a half hours ish, but I met a fair few people. I think the first person I came across was Scott, a uh, console snob, so it was really nice to meet him. Uh, it was really nice to meet all these people, it's amazing. Um, you know, you, you see people on videos and you hear them and stuff, but until you actually meet them face to face, there's something different. I don't know, you kind of expect people to uh, sound slightly different, because you always do, don't they? The voices sound slightly different in real life than they do on camera. Um, well, I certainly think that anyway. Certainly with my own voice, you, you, it's funny when you hear yourself um, on camera, how you sound different. Um, and it's a little bit of that with appearance, you know, you expect people to be a certain height or... You know, and, and they're not. The, 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 it's weird how that works. You know, uh, people who you think are going to be slightly shorter, or taller, and vice versa. Um, but it was pretty cool uh, meeting Scott there, um, and he um, sent a few texts and things around. I'd be, be a bit lost if it wasn't for him, really, because when you first walk into that play expo there at Blackpool, um, it's quite dark. It's like there's like, like a blue light sort of light and everything, and it's very hard to see anything in there. I thought, oh my God, you know, I'm not going to be anybody in this light. I can't even see my hand, never name, <laughs> try and pick out, you know, Scott or James or somebody else, you know, Novabug, etc. Um, but luckily, yeah, as I say, if it wasn't for Scott sending out texts to various people and telling me where people were congregating, um, I wouldn't have met some of the other people, but it was really nice to meet Scott, uh, James um, and Novabug uh, were hanging around together, so it was really nice to meet the, the, those guys. Um, uh, I met Dave Webster, that was really nice to meet Dave Webster, he's a really nice guy, uh, very friendly, uh, you know, smart, smart guy. Um, who else did I meet? Uh, the chap who runs Retro on the Limb, um, you know, sort of uh, deals with the whole sort of behind the scenes of Retro on the Limb, Stephen. So that was really nice. And uh, I think later, actually, towards the end, he went, introduces me to um, introduced me to the voice of Retro on the Limb, which is Harry Yak. And at the point where he did that, I couldn't hear a single thing. I was like right next to this massive speaker that was blasting out. Um, and I think he was like, "Who the hell, who does this sound like? You know, to see if you can t tell who this is." And I was like, I couldn't hear a thing. So I was like, uh, I don't know, uh, do, do I watch your channel? And I was like, you know, it was quite an embarrassing moment, uh, especially afterwards, because you know, as I went away afterwards, I started thinking, I should have asked a few more questions there, but I was trying to get off because I needed to get back. Um, I was starting to feel a bit off, you know, with my health and stuff, I felt a bit unwell. Uh, it's a miracle, really, that I managed to get there today. And what I decided to do was go to my parents, leave my car there and uh, see if, you know, and they, they, they offered to sort of pick me up and drop me off. So it wasn't too far away or something five minute trip and stuff so that worked out quite well but anyway yeah so I was in a rush to get off there um, otherwise I would have asked a few more questions and realised uh, that that was Harry Yak and I should have got guessed that if I'd been able to hear his voice um, also I'm at Cyber Snake 7 is it um, and T-Rex Space Station so it was really nice to meet those guys um, 
fairly early on, actually, just after I met Console Snob, I bumped into Co Jones, uh, I can't even say his name, Co Jones DeLoro. Um, I've only been watching his channel a short period of time, but he's fantastic. He's a really good guy, you know, interesting. Charismatic, same old thing that I always say, really. You, you know, you should check out his channel if you haven't done already. Um, Costardo um, was hanging around with Dave Webster, so Costardo, I think, posted a few comments in the past on my videos. Um, I think I've subscribed to his channel, I'll, I'll double check that actually. But he's a, an interesting guy as well. I think he travelled over from somewhere in Europe, I don't know where. So I mean if you're watching this, be, you know, post down below, let me know where you're from, because I can never remember um, where some people come from. Um, one MSX to go, um, I, I bumped into him just before the end as well. Uh, I think he'd come over from Portugal, um, so that was really nice. Um, who else did I meet? Uh, I think that was probably it. Um, yeah, anyway, it was really good, it was really nice to, to see people there, and, you know, especially, you know, like, thanks to Scott and stuff for introducing me to people and sending texts and things out, um, and it was really nice uh, having a chat there to various people. So I did a bit of filming at the event there, but not much. Um, it's just little snippets and things just showing you around, showing you some of the systems and things I saw. It's not very comprehensive, there were probably areas that I didn't go into. Um, the stores and things, you know, that were selling games and things like that, it was a bit disappointing in the sense that I, was, I went with expectations to try and buy a couple of micro-switched uh, controllers, you know, uh, arcade sticks. I was thinking maybe one for the Dreamcast, maybe one for the Saturn or the Mega Drive. Um, but there was just nothing there that I think... It could be because I went on the Sunday. Uh, I guess if you went on the Saturday, you know, some of the things might have still been in stock. You know, everything's going to sell out pretty good, all the bargains. And it seemed like everyone wanted the same things. You know, I bumped into a few people there. They got chatting about various things, you know, what sort of things they were looking for. And um, arcade sticks seemed to be one of the common... Um, things people were looking for, um, so it was a bit of a shame. But I mean, I did get a couple of games, you know, three games here. That was that was good. But more importantly, it was just great to meet some of those people. Um, so I'll show you some of the footage. There's not much there. Uh, thanks for watching.